Hey, I'm Dr. Mushtaq. In this episode, I will give you uh, another important area of the renewable energy that is the biofuel technology. In this episode, you will enjoy a lot of new things, a lot of important or uh, unique things like the biofuel production, the process, the how the greener catalysts are produced, how the greener catalysts are applied for the production of the biomass energy. And in the episode, I will show you the road run test that we have produced indigenous biofuels to be tested on a vehicle that are running on a diesel. Biomass energy is the energy that is obtained from the biological resources. There are two types of biological resources. Either it is a edible oil seeds and other it is a non-edible oil seeds. But for biofuel technology, we are focusing on non-edible green energy. The non-edible oil seeds are those seeds which not compete with the food crop, not compete with the agriculture land. So the technology that is used to produce the green energy have a greener impact. It is a environment friendly, eco friendly and it is a indigenous production from biological resources. Uh, this is a Tevisha Peruviana, commonly are in English, it is called as yellow oleander. The seeds of this plants contain the oil contents which is about 40%. So this is one of the important oil rich species that is used as an indigenous resource for the production of greener energy. It is an ornamental plant, it should be planted around the roadsides, in a house, in a garden, while the seeds are waste every year. Though the seeds can be used as a waste material to convert the seeds oil into the biofuels. This is another important plant that is used as a non-edible oil seeds for the production of the biofuel. That is the cannabis taiva. In English, it is called as a hemp. The seeds of this plant contain higher oil contents and that oil is converted into the biodiesel by using the green catalyst. This is a Bistrophia javanica. In English, it is called as Bishop Wood Tree, which belongs to the family Euphorbiaceae. It is the same family of Jetropha, Castor Bean, which are already practiced as a biofuel feedstock. So, this is one of the non edible feedstocks for the production of the greener energy, that is the biomass energy. This is the Pongamia pineta, which is commonly known as Pongam tree. The seeds of this plant contain a high oil content that is used as an indigenous feedstock for biodiesel production. In the field, we have to identify non edible oil seeds. After the collection of the seeds, the next step is the extraction of the seed oil and then the filtration of the oil. Uh, world is facing the problems of energy crisis. So the world is moving towards the solution of this energy crisis. The world is thinking about the solar energy, wind energy and biofuel energy. These are the three options for alternative energy resources. In our project, we have identified about 350 non-edible oil seeds that are used to convert into the biofuels. These non-edible oil seeds are first step is the identification. Second step is the collection of the non-edible oil seeds. The third step is the extraction of the seed oil by using oil expander. The fourth step is the process of trans esterification. First step to identify to collect the non-edible oil seeds. For example, this is the castor bean that we have collected from the wild condition. Oil cake that is the first byproduct that is obtained after the extraction of the seed oil. This oil cake have a market. Either it is used as a biofertilizer, either it is used as an animal feed. But after the analysis of toxicology, that we have to identify the toxin. If it is non-toxic, then it is a biofertilizer, then it is a used as an animal feed as well. Crude oil that is extracted by expelling the seeds, and this extracted oil is further filtered and then it is used for the process of trans esterification to convert this oil into the biodiesel. After the extraction of the seed oil, the first step is the determination of the oil content by using the soak setup practice. It's very important to determine the oil before to process for trans esterification. 
and then we move toward the free fatty acid determination FFA content if the seed aisles have a lesser than FFA content 3% it is a good source to convert a one step process that is seed aisle into the biodiesel by using trans esterification when it is a higher than 3% then we have to use two step process for trans esterification first is the acid based trans esterification then the base catalyzed trans esterification because it determine the conversion of the seed aisle into the free fatty acid determination to convert the seed aisle into fatty acid methyl esters next step that is the preparation of phyto nano catalyst phyto nano catalyst are nowadays called as the green catalyst green catalysts are those catalysts which are prepared from the plant parts either leaves roots stems so these are the leaves extract then they move toward the preparation of the phyto nano catalyst this is a muffle furnace that is used to calcinate the catalyst so we have to prepare the extract of the leaf plant and then we have to move toward the muffle furnace for calcination and this is a prepared phyto nano catalyst that is a green catalyst we have prepared from the plant parts this catalyst is used as a nano catalyst during the process of trans esterification the green nano catalysts are nowadays used for the industrial scale production they are uh, non toxic they are environment friendly they are cost effective so they accelerate the efficient process for the conversion of triglyceride into fatty acid methyl ester yield so they provide us a maximum biodiesel yield these are the prepared biodiesel that is prepared from different non edible oil seeds this is by product soap that is obtained after the trans esterification another by product that is glycerol glycerol is also produced as a by product after the purification of glycerol that can be used in the pharmaceutical industry because of its medicinal importance when all the by products either glycerol either soap or oil cakes they have a market value then it ultimately reduces the cost of the biodiesel after the preparation of biodiesel this biodiesel is further checked by physico chemical properties there are two types of physico chemical properties first to check the fuel properties then to check the chemical characterization of the biodiesel by using uh, kinematic viscosity specific gravity c10 number pour point cloud point fuel standard these are the standard basically to compare with the astm standard european union standard or chinese standard if it is a compatible then we can use this biodiesel in our diesel based vehicle this is a prepared biodiesel now this diesel is equally applied to the diesel based vehicles now we are going to outside to show you the road run test by using this biodiesel in a land rover Now we are going to test the road run test by using the biodiesel prepared from Pongam plant. see that the biodiesel is environment friendly with less emissions no soot no other gases so this is a environment friendly renewable energy Oh you enjoy this beautiful episode green energy for green environment in this episode you enjoy the process the selection of the feed stock for the biofuel technology and implementation into the vehicles you can practice this technology at your university level industry level at the homes or the farmer lands to produce the indigenous energy eco friendly energy the green energy for the green environment
I request you to subscribe this channel, to cite this channel, to watch this channel, Miracle Herbal Diversity, which provides you a lot of indigenous resources about the fuels, about the food, about the medicine for food security, for health security, for biomass energy security.